As you navigate through large-scale battle and chivalry to medieval warfare, you'll notice that there are four very distinct types of players you will encounter. Today, we will look at the characteristics that make these type of players, and most importantly, how to kill them. The Gambler. They say gambling is a degenerative disease and the battlegrounds of chivalry are comparable to Las Vegas after an all-night bender. The gambler will throw caution and defense to the wind and span their left-click attack in any and all situations. The gambler favors the messer and if you're lucky enough to disarm him, he has another. These gamers of chance will land kills on better players by ignoring their feints and morphs and responding to any and all actions with their move of choice, the standard slash. Never ever give a gambler the respect of trying to outplay them as they value luck over skill. Instead, when you make the read that a player is a gambler, turn your post directly into a stab and punish the gambler for blindly attacking. The Turtle not all players are mechanically skilled enough to be an offensive juggernaut, and while they say the best defense is a strong offense, for shield-using turtles, the best defense is more defense. Turtles are timid creatures who will utilize hold to block and a big shield to absorb your strongest attacks. The turtle is of little to no threat in a fight, however, will attempt to back away towards friendly lines, holding up their shield strong, waiting for their teammates to come and third party you. A turtle is a chivalry version of a camper and will spout terms like shield wall and tactical play if you call them out for being shite. Killing a turtle is as simple as morphing a stab into a kick, stab to draw them into their favored fetal position, then kick to break their guard. Turtles tend to fall for the same moves over and over and over again since if they had skills, they wouldn't use a shield. The Archer Main As you look to the back of the enemy lines, you will see the skinny and weak archer mains shooting their own teammates in the asshole. Archer mains are beta males, the type of Simpson cucks who donate to Amaranth or Indie Fox. Low skill gamers who care nothing for teamwork or objective play, an archer main will gladly lose a game to be able to brag about going 7-0 after 30 minutes of long range sniping. Fortunately, archer mains are some of the easiest players to kill in chivalry. Archer mains suffer from extreme tunnel vision as they carefully aim for their 10th missed arrow in a row, and simply flanking to the side or back will usually allow you to kill them with a heavy attack combo before they even figure out you're there. If they do manage to pull out their sword, archer mains have low stamina and are very quickly disarmed if you put pressure on them. Archer mains should be punished and killed at any and all opportunities for their poor life choices. The Sweat Lord The Lords of Sweat are the 0.001% of people alive who've quit their jobs to perfect the art of first-person medieval video game warfare. These players spent thousands of hours in the original Chivalry and Mordhau and purchased their way into the super-secret closed betas of Chivalry 2 to get a few hundred more hours of practice in, all with the sole intent of ruining you and your group of casual friends' play sessions. The Sweat Lords can be recognized by their super expensive weapons and armor and will carve their way through noobs and casuals like a knife through butter and then beg Torn Banner Studios for ranked mode where they can compete with the other 20 people alive who actually take chivalry seriously. Even if you are a Sweat Lord yourself, the Sweat Lord is never to be engaged in single combat. Battles between Sweat Lords take too long for a victor to be declared and most times come down to whose teammates came to boink one of them in the back of the head. Now I myself identify as a bit of a sweat lord. Let me know in the comments what type of player you are. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. Champ out.